Hello, welcome. I'm going to give you a quick overview of world map functionality. So to start with, you can look at maps that others have created. Click on view a map and this takes you to a list of all of the map collections that people have built. Starting with Africa map, China map, Chicago map, some highlighted maps are across the top here and then the rest are sorted by date. Each map has a title and then the profile of the person who created it. So you can find out about the person who created it, contact them. Clicking on the title brings you right into the map itself. You can also just start your own map, map from scratch. So uh, to do that, click on Create a Map. And this brings you into a blank map composition environment where you can load your own data and configure how that data looks. To start adding your own data, uh, click up here on Add Layers, the upper left. Okay, we have three ways to add layers to World Map. First tab, World Map Data, points to data sets which have already been loaded to World Map. And here we could type a keyword, and we're searching also by geography. We could pan around here to refine our search and we can just pick a pick a layer selected here then add selected layers at the bottom and now our new map layer has loaded now let's take a look at external data so external data lets us point to remote servers which are hosting map services so google layers are one example we can add a wms server we can add an arcgis rest server third we can upload data layers this allows us to upload either shapefiles or geotiff files from our hard drive. It's just a matter of giving a title, pointing to the file, and including a, this is an optional uh, styled layer descriptor uh, that, that symbolizes the layer. And these can be generated right out of ArcMap. Uh, and, and it can be generated out of other packages as well. Include an abstract and then you're all set. Now that we've loaded one layer, let's save our map so we can come back to it. So I'm going to call this Map Demo. And I can define the URL. I'm going to call the URL, uh, last part of it, Map Demo. And I can give it an abstract. And I can put in keywords. And I can uh, put in a description here, uh, get rid of the boilerplate in there and I can put whatever I want here demo description this is what people see when they open the map this this text here will show up and and explain what it is that uh, a user is looking at when they come to your map I'll click Save Great. and now I've created a map that I can come back to so this URL, uh, worldmap.harvard.edu slash maps slash map demo, uh, I could send to anybody and they'd be able to come and see this map. Now, uh, I can also publish this map uh, this way. So using this links button, this links button lets me generate a URL in a couple of ways. One, this first one, captures whatever the state of the view is. So if I were to zoom in to one tiny part here, and let's say I could make this uh, transparent, and I could change my base map to, let's change it to Google Hybrid, okay? So let's say I wanted to take this particular view of this map demo map and send it to somebody. I click on link, and now I could copy paste this, put it in an email, and they would be brought into the exact same live map. In addition, I can take this snippet of code and copy paste this and put this in a web page. It could be a blog or any HTML web page. And up would come a live map, which embedded map, which would be this map. Okay, so let's try that. So I've copied this text. I'm going to paste this into a blog, like so. And I'm going to publish it. And 
So here we've got a very sort of quick way to take any map, map combination. It could include your uploaded data, remote web services, data that's already in uh, world map, and you can uh, pan and zoom in a live uh, map. All right, so that's linking. So an important aspect of world map is the ability to control access to any maps or layers within those maps that you create. So I clicked on share map, a link at the upper right, and now I can control access in a variety of ways. If I want to make my map private, I can select for who can view and download this, only users who can edit, and then not list any people who can edit. If I want to give this map, make this accessible by only a couple people, I can choose this only users who can edit and then add in those users who I would like to have access. For any layer or map in the system, one can always get back to the person who created that or added that to the system. So right now, I'm logged in as myself, B. Lewis, and if I click on this, I can get to my profile. And this profile is the same profile anyone would see, and this lists all the maps and layers. Maps first, layers second, and my contact information. So you can easily contact the person who created something you're interested in. Of course, you can switch between map layers. Let's put OpenStreetMap up. OpenStreetMap is handy for printing because one is not allowed to print Google Maps. Now if we want to print, we can click here and we can control our resolution, our paper size, and then when we quick click print we're creating a PDF. If you need help, it's available here. And that's it for the quick start demo.